with a service that you can uh, re, re restream or something it's called or no i i don't i don't know about that directly from your laptop to youtube uh this is a feature mm. within zoom oh, it's, okay. it's a plugin and they ask you to do that so yeah it's it's coming on right now and cool. i just need to do one more thing uh to make sure that we're all on and I see my friend Melanie also uh, want to acknowledge my friends and some of my clients as well today. Alberto, Richard, Emily from BC, Kaylin, Patrick, of course. Um, I don't know where Melanie went. She's connecting us. She's, she's with us from Prague. Prague? Prague, like in Czech Republic. The Czech Republic. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. We're over the pond now. Yeah, okay. Everybody, welcome. Um, and I'm going to find my record and we're going to get started. Or share my screen, I meant. Welcome to Widen Your Gaze Fridays. My name's Luke Bouchard. I'm so glad you could join us today. I'm very excited about today's session. And I just want to tell you a little bit about the intention of Widen Your Gaze Friday. It is to actually meant to give you a bigger picture, give you a, um, a wider view of the world, whatnot. I often liken it to the 10,000 foot view, where when we're at 10,000 feet or 30,000 feet, it really doesn't matter. You see the bigger picture. And sometimes we have blinders on where we think we actually know what we're doing. And when we widen our gaze, the world opens up to us. Um, my, uh, as I mentioned, my name is Luke Bouchard and my company is Bare Bones Communications. And what I do is I help people craft their message so that they have a succinct message on camera, or if that's gonna be in your elevator pitch or in your positioning statement, I help people get very clear on their messaging. Today is uh, presentation is jumping your professional presence from novice to all star on LinkedIn. And I'm very excited to have Roberto Aless with us from Aless International Business Relations. I'm just getting a call. I'm going to. Um, um, uh, sorry, I had a call there that I had to ignore. And. Um, and R Roberto is a expert in the area and I'm really looking forward to him telling you about some of his experience, what LinkedIn has done for him and where it's brought him to a different level. So without further ado, I'm gonna push us over, put it over to Roberto and Roberto, take away, please. Thank you so much, Luke. It's a privilege for me to be here today and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we'll make this very interactive and I will make it fun. One and a half hours will fly. Uh, LinkedIn is one of the uh, topics that I'm very passionate about it and I've been helping lots of clients to improve themselves much, much better, their presence and their leadership portfolio on LinkedIn for them, uh, for themselves, for their personal brands, for the corporate brands. So we will learn lots today. And most importantly, we will learn all of us doing it together. Um, I want to acknowledge Luke as well. Luke and I, we've been working in many projects for almost two years now. A wonderful gentleman. Again, so grateful that I'm here. I want to also provide to you guys before we start our verbal disclaimer. I will make this presentation very different than what typically my webinars or seminars are typically have a PowerPoint presentation, some bullet points getting there. No, I wanna make this very casual, very inclusive, so we all can have the best experience possible. Although I wanna be very clear on this, that what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is solely and only my experience and the experience of my clients. I'm not here to telling you to do it one way or another, although I'm here to provide an experience. And if you request it later on, a more personal guidance, okay? So we'll be talking a couple of things here, and it's my intention to go with this agenda. Uh, we're going to discuss my ABCs for LinkedIn, and I will disclose that already. ABCs stands for Advantage, Business, and Community, okay? And I will be sharing my screen with you right now and going to have some fun. Okay, go to share that one. Bear with me here, please. Um, can everybody see the screen in front of you guys? It's loading up now. I'll let you know when it comes on, Roberto. Okay. Thank you, Luke. I appreciate that. 
So why Advantage? We're still not, it still hasn't loaded up. So it hasn't? it's okay. taking. Uh, Eric, has it loaded on your part yet? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet, okay. So we're having a streaming issue with this. Okay. Share and spouse bring your share window to the front. How can I do that? I'm sorry, what's it asking you to do? So it says here that sharing is pause, bring your share window to the front, but I don't understand why it says that. Let's do this again, guys. Bear with us, please. Sometimes Zoom has been very tricky lately because of all the demand that people are having. Let's see. Can you see now? Yep, 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 we're good. Can you see the screen on LinkedIn and everything like that? Yeah, you're we're on your we're on your page. Um, so yeah, you're good to go. Perfect. Yep. Thank you for that. Just remove this. Okay. So why is an advantage LinkedIn? And I will share that with you already. Okay. Before we go here. Mm -hmm. mm. There we go. If you've ever received an email that says, join my network on LinkedIn, you've probably wondered, what is LinkedIn? A simple answer is that it's the world's largest professional network, helping people find and share opportunities every day. But how is it relevant to you? Managing your career is just one reason to join LinkedIn. As you develop your professional profile, you establish an authoritative resource on your experience and capabilities that lets people find you when they search the internet. In two minutes, you'll be up and running with the most important page on the web you'll ever have. Do you know what people find when they Google your name? With LinkedIn, you'll have more control over what appears in Google results, and having a robust profile encourages people to approach you with opportunities. Many of your contacts are already on LinkedIn, and you can reconnect just by uploading your address book. This lets you stay in touch even as your contacts change jobs and email addresses. Your reputation is summed up by the relationships you've developed over your career. LinkedIn helps you maintain these relationships authentically. In addition, when you want to make new business connections, you can find people using LinkedIn's search tool, then see who you know in common. This makes it easy to request an introduction from your trusted connections. You can also join a LinkedIn group where professionals in your field discuss issues and solve problems related to your industry. Link to your Twitter account to share tweets with your professional network, both from LinkedIn to Twitter and vice versa. And use LinkedIn's mobile application to stay current with your network wherever you are. These are just a few features that help you get the most out of LinkedIn. Whether you're working in an office or on the go, LinkedIn keeps you in touch with the people that matter to your career. And since signing up is free, LinkedIn just might be the best investment you'll ever make in your career. So that's why LinkedIn is a, um, an advantage to be part of. Um, it's a business tool. By business, I meant also the opportunity for you to connect in a business community, whether you are an entrepreneur or a business professional. Bear with me here. And of course, it's a community. Uh, also in business, it means for people that are seeking, as a students, they are seeking opportunities and internships. It's a great tool for them to connect with like-minded people, but also with the people that are hiring for different positions. And for people that are looking to upscale their careers, it is imperative for you to be connected in the community. What is also an advantage is that LinkedIn, a differentiation of just a simple resume, even though you had the best and most powerful cover letter and resume, nothing is more powerful than a linked community, which means that if somebody is looking you up to hire your services or to buy uh, from you products uh, that your company produce or even your expertise, they look at your profile and everyone that is connected with you through your recommendations, through the engagements and your postings, gives that credibility to you. So three main things that you will look always on LinkedIn and the results you're looking out of LinkedIn. Trust, reliability, and community. And with that, you have a great advantage. 
Now, uh, with that video, I also want to explain to you why you need to be part of LinkedIn. But at the end of this um, webinar, it's my intention that you will definitely have clear that you need to be part of it and really be more involved. Um, as part of you being a leader in the community, whether you see yourself or not as a leader, we all follow somebody. What you actually don't see it is that whatever um, communication you bring out there, whatever ideas you share out there through the platform, there is people that see us and then starting to see you and perceive you as a leader in your industry. Whether you see it or not that way, believe me, LinkedIn is a platform, as I will show you here on the screen, if you still see it, actually it's the number one platform for business communications and connections in the world. The top five LinkedIn stats that matter to marketers in 2020, most importantly facts for you guys, ladies and gents. The number one is the 675 million monthly, monthly, monthly users. 57% of LinkedIn users are men, 43% are women. 30 million companies, 30 million companies are on LinkedIn. An ad on LinkedIn can reach 12% of the world's population. And a sponsor email has a 52% open rate on average. So who is on LinkedIn? And LinkedIn, you will find CEOs, CEOs, business people, recruiters, and people of influence. So that's why it's so important uh, for you to, to be part of it. Now let's get into more exciting stuff. I uh, will go and I will ask Luke to share your screen with us. We're going to, I will going to show you how to own a search engine optimization, how to own your own domain name on LinkedIn if you haven't yet. I noticed and thank you by the way to uh, our participants that have shared your LinkedIn information with us. And by the way, the intention here is to be open. It's all about sharing and it's not right or wrong, and here are not stupid questions as well. So I would love to, um, to share with you, for instance, that Jerry Jones, thank you for sharing your LinkedIn profile. I just look it up very quickly. I can tell you I have a very strong LinkedIn profile, sir. Very good, good on you. Also, Nick, have a very, very strong profile. And Nick, I make this observation, sir, because what we're going to do right now, it will help you to boost your LinkedIn profile by 30 to 40% on Google. Jerry, for, uh, for Roberto, mm -hmm. are, are you looking at people's profile right now? Because we see your page when you're mentioning that you see people have a strong profile. We're only, so I'm not sure if you're, if you're, no. we're supposed to be seeing that or nope? no, okay. no, 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 now because it's not my intention. If people want to see it, they can go to the inbox where they have shared the LinkedIn accounts. I just okay. look at it to make this as a point of reference. Okay. Thank you, Luke, for asking. What I'm going to be doing, Luke, is as we spoke, I'm going to be uh, stopping my share right now. I will stop the screen share. So you, Luke, can uh, display your LinkedIn account, and we are going now to uh, to make your, your LinkedIn 30 to 40% uh, more searchable uh, to optimize the search engine optimization. So... Yeah, so the, the first thing I want to, I just want to say with this is that Roberto and I thought what would be the best way to illustrate um, how we can, how we can help people and I was willing to volunteer because uh, there's so, so little, there's so much I don't know about LinkedIn and one of the things just even promoting this work, this presentation, I thought I used the right hashtag to get uh, Roberto acknowledged and I didn't. And so there's many things I don't know. So I'm going to be the guinea pig and, and mm -hmm. I've given Roberto full license to call it the way he sees it. Yeah. So, yeah. Go to have fun. Okay. So go ahead, Roberto. Thank you. Okay. And I mentioned this again for, uh, for Nick, right? Because Nick, uh, if you're going to do this change in your profile and this again, there is other people as well. Um, they are present today as an attendees that you guys need to check step-by-step uh, step what we're going to do right now. And this will help you again to improve your, your presence, not just on LinkedIn, but also in search engine optimization. Everyone, everyone, whether they want to do business with you, they want to hire you as an expert, or they just want to connect with you, they will Google your name. Every expert that is on a top 500 companies and above, any professional, sharp businessman or women will look you up on Google first, and we'll find out if you have LinkedIn. Okay, look. I'm gonna, and I'm going to add one other thing too on that is as a former headhunter in HR, I know for a fact 
that when people are, when HR is looking at potential candidates, they will check your LinkedIn profile. They're going to verify it on that. And it's a standard practice. They will creep you and to find out what you are. So that's more important on that. Okay, go ahead, Roberto. Yeah, something quickly I want to mention too, guys. Uh, LinkedIn is not Facebook. I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Uh, so please treat LinkedIn with the respect that it deserves. And I'm so passionate about it because I have more than eight years of experience in using the platform. Okay, look, go and click to where it says me. Me, 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 okay. Yep. Okay, click on your profile. View profile? Yes. Okay, uh, let's scroll down, please, slowly. Oh, there's Jerry, there's mm -hmm. Patrick. Okay, that's the bottom. That's about it, okay. Go up again, sorry. Sometimes the platform, by the way guys, sometimes the platform is very different when you see it from the computer screen than when you see it from the mobile. Okay, right back up to the top? Yes. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, con give me one second here. Okay, got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. On your right upper level, upper side, you will see edit public profile in URL with a question mark on it. Just I'm, under, just down where it says work, where your cursor is. Okay, there where it says edit public profile in URL. On top. Right there here. we go. There we go. Do okay. we need to turn off notifications of updates? Pardon me? Do we need to turn off the notifications of updates? Um, so that we don't send every update out to our first connection? Oh, because I change it. Yeah, so good idea. So um, tell me where that happens, Jerry. Well, I know it's in privacy. OK. I think well, people, people, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do with it right now. So you want to edit, edit my, thanks. I think we're just going to, people have to do that. Cut, edit my custom URL. Correct. So click on the on the pencil. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now the lead order says BBB. Okay, so what's wrong with having Luke at BBV? Well, first oh. of all, it's not current, but so mm -hmm. why 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 should I have that? Not my full name. There's nothing wrong with it. The only difference is that people are missing out that this is a very powerful tool. Your name is Luke Bouchard. If I get to know, if I if I'm introduced to you, whether it's directly or indirectly, whether it's a networking event. I will remember your name and last name. So when I see your, your card, besides the, all the conversation I have, I will Google your name. And that is Luke Bouchard. So okay. you being, when you get a uh, birth certificate, they name you Luke Bouchard, no right. Luke BBV. And I'm saying this respectfully in the way that if you can brand your name, because it's a brand, if you can start to perceive your name as a brand, every experience you have with somebody is something that it produces a sentiment and a feeling, whether people like you or not. I mention this because if you own a piece of LinkedIn, which is for free to own your own name in the platform, that alone will boost the search engine optimization in every platform like Google, when people Google your name, and we're going to see that, you will appear as the top number one or two on the 25 LinkedIn profiles in the world because you own this. Also, when people Google your name, LinkedIn is the first thing that will appear to them within the first page. It might be first, second, and third in that order, but because of LinkedIn. So if there's anything else out there to create a big first impression is that people say, this guy's a professional, he's on LinkedIn. And he, and people that know this by the way, and he has his own personalized URL on LinkedIn. This guy is sharp. So it adds to my credibility and yeah. Jerry, are you gonna say something? 
Yeah, would you recommend that if he wants to use bare bones communication that he could have his name dash BBC or just leave it as name? I will, I will suggest to do it as a name, as a Luke Bouchard, because Luke has already his, uh, very good question, by the way, Luke has already his own website. And when you um, are using LinkedIn, for instance, to post anything related to bare bones communications, and I'll just look as an example to answer your question, he somehow creates links that leads to the website that already that algorithm identify that is both related to the same. So when people Google his name, it will appear top 25 LinkedIn accounts in the world. Like Bouchard, he will be number one. And then on the Google search will appear also bare bones communications. So it's creating like a link within in and outside the platform, if that makes any sense. I just have a comment from Laura. Hello, Laura, nice to see you. <laughs> and she made a comment uh, that not everyone is going to have the same view because of the paid prescription, uh, paid non-paid subscription. So, so, and Carol asked, what if you have a common name? Well, let's find out what happens when we put in my name on this and see mm -hmm. what comes up because I'd be very surprised if I get this. Roberto, are you still with us? Yes, I am. I okay, just to, to, to keep up with also with the, with the message, with the chat. So thank you for that look. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna, let's see if we save what happens with this. And I actually didn't know this was important. And you know, I, I things I do, I do well. Things I don't do well, I don't do well. So let's hit save. I will give you a point of reference, guys. Uh, and I will be sharing with you guys later on some of the benefits that I have seen uh, myself on using LinkedIn. There's a lot of communications uh, um, experts that um, we are very good at what we do, but we, of course, we know, we don't know everything. My point is because I was in Colombia a few years back, I was invited as a keynote speaker. And after all, we were working with some people there in, in Colombia, very sharp people. And one of them was this lady that she was a communications expert. She didn't even knew this. And when I showed her that, she could brand herself even better. And now she is more well paid because of that. So as I suspected, Luc Bouchard is not going to work because there's a um, there's a fashion designer in Quebec who used that name that was a problem for my uh, YouTube channel. So Luc Bouchard didn't work, but Luc T did, which I'm absolutely fine with. So, OK, also, you can use the hyphen and instead of the T. Uh, OK, uh, would you recommend one over the other? I will uh, try with the hyphen instead. OK, so Please. let me try this. And Roberto, is there any amount of times that you can change this? Is there any limitations oh, yeah. on it? Oh, absolutely. The only the only the risk that you have is that, for instance, if the hash if the dash works and it's another look Bouchard, and you have changed it, and this person comes and owns it, so there you go. They said that URL is not available. So there might be the chance that it's another look Bouchard that have already uh, costing the yeah. URL. So but yeah, you can you can use look Bouchard BBC if you want in that right. case. But is he as smart and good looking as me? That's the question. Okay. No, I'm a man. I don't think that that would be the case exactly. No. <laughs> what about... <laughs> In answer, I'll have you back as a speaker. What if, can do I you, say? Do you have a what about an underscore, Roberto? Yeah, try that. Absolutely. Anything that you can try when it. In most, oh, most cases, most cases also, what LinkedIn will do is that they will protect. LinkedIn was very good at protecting also. Uh, your, the things that you personalize. So with your URL, for instance, that was accepted, the T one, okay? Yeah. Uh, so that was accepted. So when somebody owns, for instance, myself, I own a great Roberto Alas, and somebody tries to hash, finate it, or anything, but it's nothing, or even a one or two there, the differentiates, they will protect me to me first, because I came first, and I'm very active in the platform. So okay. that's something else as well. Um, for people that were asking about paid or non-paid, I want to answer that question too, look when whatever the chance. The chance. Do you want to go ahead? Now's good. Okay, uh, I will. I will ask to leverage more what they refer to paid or non-paid because you can do the best out of the platform without paying anything. You only need to know the ins and outs. And yes, it takes more time to do it. But the beautiful thing about this is, and I will be showing that to you guys. I have created content for myself and my clients that using the proper hashtags and the proper, proper timings to and the proper content, the intention on it, it has created organically 2,000, 3,000 views all over the world in a period of two to three weeks, sometimes even in a week. Roberto, that's that organically. 
uh, LinkedIn is always asking me to go, uh, what is it, pro? Is that the paid version of it or the, yeah. So okay. what, what advantage do you have to that? You have, uh, you have certain advantages. Uh, one of the advantages you have is that you have the access to see every profile that you want to. There is uh, people that have the paid profile, which make it more secure. Um, but once you're starting to grow your network, um, make it more professional involved, and you have certain things to take care of the network that you are part of and that you allow to be part of your network, your LinkedIn is starting to, to, to be more visible. And we're going to, I was my intention to try to do the, to, be, to bring you to all a star right now. But once you create your LinkedIn and you make it all a star, your LinkedIn classification grows. And therefore the platform sees you as a very strong platform, which means that in so many cases, you can connect directly with other people out of your reach without being pro. So pro gives you the opportunity to send uh, emails or messages, uh, for instance, to President Barack Obama. And uh, you don't know him personally, you can send him a message. Whether it's him or his staff, they will see it, it's different, but you can, you can do that. Um, and so there is important CEOs and business people that you want to reach out to, you can do that directly. That's one of the benefits of pros. Um, of course, if you are looking more to sell online and sell uh, to the LinkedIn um, demographic, which is mainly business, I would suggest to invest on it, absolutely. But you need to know already the strategy, why you're going to be using LinkedIn, what is the demographic, what kind of email you're going to be sending. Universities, for instance, they see the benefit on this. I have received uh, invites as a paid ad emails from the University of Australia, Ottawa, uh, to the University of Toronto, uh, promoting their MBAs and affecting me already and this, this and that and my, okay. So I see that's effective because of course, it's a professional platform. So organizations like, like universities, they are selling those kind of services, they see the paid programs as a benefit. Fantastic. So who would you recommend upgrades to the pro platform then? That's a very personal question. I will say whoever is working in an organization or is an entrepreneur that wants more businesses, business clients and pay high pay business clients that they can use their services. I'll give you an example again. Um, and again, it all depends of, this is a personal question with a personal answer. I don't have the answer to it, but just to give you a point of reference again, Oracle. Oracle is a software company. Even if you say I never use Oracle, that is a lie. If you have a smartphone with you right now, whether it's an Apple or Samsung, you use Oracle systems on the phones. So. If Oracle decides later on to create a software then it's more user-friendly for the masses and more for professionals, those are the ones that would be using this kind of pro because in terms of paying 50 or 55 US dollars um, monthly to be pro, they would get a big benefit out of it. If for you, um, the, you know, paying 50, $70, up to $500, depending on your marketing budget, it won't affect you your, your budget at all, go ahead. But again, you need to have the strategy in place so you know that the conversion rate will be higher than what the uh, customer acquisition cost will be for you. Carol asked the question, would it uh, would Pro be beneficial to a realtor? It all depends on the demographic again. Um, that's a very good question. It all depends if you are, for instance, commercial or residential. And right now I can tell you there, I have a couple of people actually reaching out uh, to me from Eastern uh, Canada. Uh, and he is an expert in commercial real estate. And he just want to know a little bit more about certain guidance in terms of my leadership um, guidance for him, and what is next. But what I find out is that in his years of experience, commercial real estate right now is very tricky in the, in the city where he's at. And so we need to look at first, what is the strategy? What, what is the team? really looking and aim is about keeping the current clients uh, sustainable and the way of keep the sellers going or 
reinventing themselves with the new clients and say, okay, if you have this big commercial real estate, can you make an office space? But in your demographic, how many people are willing after COVID-19 to come back even to a small space and to pay for that? So all depends on your demographic, I will say. Right. So the, the, the takeaway for that is if you don't have a strategy, it's hard to answer the question because really it's because I'm all about intent. What's the intent? Where are we going? Where's the end result? And so you, so it's, it's not a simple answer to say yes or no and whatnot. Precisely, precisely. And, and, and thanks for mentioning that, Luke. One more thing that I will say to, to Carol, for instance, is one of the things that I will see, Carol, if I see, I might say, yeah, pro is beneficial to you, but if I haven't seen your LinkedIn, and if you ever haven't even post any, even a couple articles about real estate, and you haven't been uh, taking the time to bring yourself as an expert in real estate, I will look at the ad, I will click on it. I will look at your profile. If your profile is not strong enough matching the ad, I will go forget about it. So it's another way for people to verify what you're what you're on. It's like it's like in this day and age of not having a website, right? Like it's if you're having a, if if that's where your business is at and people want to find you, it verifies you and whatnot. So that's really what LinkedIn does is verify you as a professional. Precisely. Uh, and one more thing to sum it up with that is that real estate can be a very personal purchase. If you're talking about families that want to purchase their homes, uh, or you know, sing, a single a single um, parents or whoever that demographic is, and it's a big difference between. And this is what I know from the people that I've been working with in the real estate market. It's a big difference between re residential real estate and commercial real estate, and it's, it's two different birds, I would say. And and she can she can benefit. I mean, she can confirm if I'm right on this. But if, for instance, for, if you're looking to target demographics that will buy residential real estate, then you need to be personable. The people need to, to connect with you and trust you. And if you only will send them to the website just to purchase the property, then it's, it's shallow, it's cold, it's not that trust to be built first. So again, that has to do with the strategy as well. Yeah, and what makes even sense to that is, is that if your demographic, because I'm working with a, a realtor in California and his demographic is people who are retiring or who are retired and they need to get out of their big houses. Well, they're not going to be necessarily looking on LinkedIn for his services because that's that age range didn't, wasn't raised up on that kind of content. So yeah, your, your demographic is really important. Thanks for answering those questions. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, we have um, another question and Laura's asking, uh, has has changed? Oh, right, so Laura's just confirming about COVID-19 and where we're at, whatnot. So did you want to say more of that, Laura, or? No, okay. Mm -hmm. Just quickly, I quickly want to mention with that. Um, again, guys, I love that the engagement. We can spend hours talking about this. I will I would suggest for you guys in whatever industry you are in, breathe deep and relax and think and take your time to deal with what you're thinking too. Don't run, walk and what will people that you can connect and leverage and a strategy with. Um, with my clients, for instance, it has been, it's a roller coaster. We're doing this, we're doing that. Sometimes this is working, sometimes this is not working. Uh, one of my clients in medical tourism, for instance, we are really looking at ways to uh, engage more with people, but because these are challenging times, we need to understand that this strategy has to change and we have to be flexible as well. As changes come, we and our teams, if you have a group of team, be sure that your sanity as a leader is good. But at the same time, when you're working with teams, put the ideas together, whatever makes sense, or even things that doesn't make sense, try it. Look. Uh, nope, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm. Uh, we see that we changed my um, my UR. So. Okay. So let's this go is to my... Google. Pardon me. Let's go to Google, please. Okay. The all-knowing Google. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so search your name, please. No, without the T, por favor. With a space? With space, exactly. YouTube, exactly. Okay, you are second after the search engine right there. Uh, yeah, my, uh, oh my, oh right, 
so but it's still coming up as the uh, hasn't changed yet how, how no. long would it take it will take typically it will take for the algorithm to kick in a week okay. so you will start to see that improvement after a week because you've been very active on linkedin it is not through the link that recognize that you know your profile is there so what you will see and actually let me share my screen i will look you up on my own Sure, I just lost because maybe name. you look yourself some so many times, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> you saying it's not about you saying it's not about me? <laughs> it's not a, there it is. Stop sharing uh, for Fox Creek. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's a matter of perspective. Also. It, it is, certainly is. So I have to do some nasal gaving, right? Nasal <laughs> navel. Over to you. It's oh, good. In the meantime, we have any questions? Any comments? I will, I will keep audience. It. Yeah. Open call for questions, people. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Love the love the picture of our backyard in our on your screenshot there. Uh, with all the documents on the yeah, front. That's right. so, ah! Yeah, no, very inspirational for sure. <laughs> Let's see, look, Bouchard. A couple of tips also to uh, to your LinkedIn, ladies and gents. If you speak more than one language, don't. If, for instance, I speak Spanish and English, and I just put my LinkedIn as an English only, you're missing out big time. If you speak French and your level even is uh, professional proficiency or just a level of uh, communication, put it there. Hey, everybody can see my screen? Yep, you're good. There we go. And, uh, sorry, there I'm happy go. to see YouTube come up first. Mm. Been a lot of and time. this is you, unless you're a priest. I yeah, the, there, yeah, yeah, the uh, yeah, the first guy on the right is Luke Bouchard. Yeah, he, actually, he's here in Alberta, and he's a uh, archbishop, I think. So, perfect. So, as you can see here, your picture is also here. If I click here, uh, it's one of the first ones. So, there's a couple things here to look at it your brand is already there through youtube linkedin is already there even as appears look bbb it will change it now uh and then you will see later on that it will appear here as a 25 for 25 top 25 linkedin accounts and when i click on it it will send me directly to your account if i'm somebody that i just met you and i know this is you i'm happy with this because for me linkedin and i will again just look as a point of reference for me linkedin is the stronger um, testimonial, the, the stronger platform that can tell me about you. And so I will read all this here, contact info. And um, I wanna show you also about the structure of LinkedIn so you guys understand the structure of the platform and why it's important to know this. So after we're done today, you can put in practice certain tips that I'm providing you today to move your LinkedIn account from novice to all start. So one of the important things here is the contact information. If I click on it, as you see here, it's already changed. And if I wanna share this with somebody, I said, oh, you know what? I found a very interesting guy that can help us um, craft it or messaging better to our audience. This guy I met it through Roberto and here we go, man. Let's, let's discuss, let's see if we can, we can buy it over. Plain and simple, cool. I just copy and send. There's the website here, which I said earlier, if you have your website, you link them to your LinkedIn account, LinkedIn already creates that link with your website and your content. And if you are active on LinkedIn, whether you post articles or bring me media uh, videos, you upload media videos, or just you post something and you use certain hashtags and you use a link, that is connected to your website, that alone will create already in the algorithm more traffic. So this is good. And even know your 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 happy your your birthday, my friend. Happy belated birthday, man. <laughs> <laughs> well it's coming up actually. <laughs> so. This is something very cool too, by the way. And I feel I feel uh, very prone to do it. So what is look stop a skill? This is LinkedIn asking me because we are a connection. Okay, and it says help us identify relevant. This is very important, guys, as the video that I posted earlier. Relevant, 
you need to be relevant to your audience. You need to be relevant to the with the content that you use for the audience within your network and those ones around your network. And I was playing a little bit more what I call the uh, different circles networks, okay, and how that impacts your your profile and how that impacts also the presence that you have and the world through the platform. So what I will do is here, as I said, is look top skill, leadership, I would agree, customer service, personal development, coaching. I will go with coaching. Boom, say thank you. Your selection will help us identify relevant opportunities for look, which means that I already, as, a, as an expert, LinkedIn is sending me those messages because they trust me in my criteria. When I say, yeah, I consider look to be expert in, in this category, coaching, leadership, and all that, it gives me four of the top. And I'm wondering why it gives me that. So if I go down, now you see why. When you see your skills and endorsements, you see that 22 people have endorsed, including myself now, look for coaching. Also leadership was there. And if I look at more here, this is important for you to put there, what are you good at skills and endorsements? As you're building your network and you start to interacting more, and working more with people, people will be witness of the capacities, the abilities, the skills, expertise that you have. And people, you can ask for endorsements or people naturally will do, okay? And so how that helps, it helps the trust, the credibility, and what LinkedIn does with that information, also recommendations, is very good recommendations, by the way. I really enjoy the recommendation from Jerry. I had to acknowledge you, Jerry, for it. And, and Geraldine too, Patrick as well, Jerry, your recommendation is, is whoa, very, very, very cool. And exactly describes the look professionally, very, very nicely, I have to say. And again, all these are the different structures of LinkedIn. So the about is very important. The about is about you. You can make a combination of your personal brand, skills, soft skills, abilities, expertise, but also if you're working for an organization, at the time you can tailor your about to include all the, the benefits that people will get and have you as a connection. And so who you really are, but also professionally too. If you are an expert in operations or in logistics, put it there. 25 years of experience in logistics and operations for multinationals, working with uh, international employees and this, this and that, had the opportunity to travel to more than 10 countries, coaching people, uh, providing lifestyle advice and this, this, this and that. So you are safe walking through a storytelling and saying who you are and engaging people with you. So if you haven't worried you're about, I would recommend to do that. Fator, very important. This will boost also your uh, all-star category for LinkedIn. Here you can uh, upload media, yes. Yeah, so just one, one second. So um, <clears throat> something I find infuriating about these filling in these fields <laughs> is they actually don't tell you how many characters you have. So is, and I, it's been so long since I've done that. Do you know if, if uh, LinkedIn has a, a if for those fields, how many max out at? Because if you know you only have 250 characters, you're going to write it very different than if you have 7,000 characters. So do you have any thoughts on that or? Very good question. No, I don't have the answer for that. What I can tell you about LinkedIn is that don't be so worried about how many characters you use. If you only have 300, the platform will tell you and then, okay, so effort right? right you have to work it out something very important about linkedin uh ladies and gents is that mainly because it's business of people there people don't don't um they are not afraid to read put it that way there's business people there so when i find an article when i find for instance i find somebody that want to know about it literally what i'm doing now will look is what recruiters will do is what top people in top executive positions will do I will take my time. I'm interested to know this guy. I want to hire him. I want to connect with him. I don't know, we're going to do business right now. I like this guy. I like our 15 minutes conversation we had at the networking event or at the event that we met with the business people, whatever. And so I will take my time to read and understand better who he is. And as I'm reading through, I will go, okay. Then I will go in Fator. Okay, interesting, relevant. I like that. So these are guidelines. And for me, it's like a reading a book. So go in and learn about it. And then here where comes the experience, I will read the experience and then I will see how much of that match the about. 
without even me thinking about it subconsciously. But that is what will go, will go for me, go, okay, connections as well, more than 500 followers. The content, what kind of content this guy have? And I go, we see all. This is very important, by the way, and I'm going a little bit out of the agenda, but it's very important for me to mention. Please refer yourself not to post anything about your cat or anything related about your dog or anything related about, uh, you know, it's so you know, sunny and that's it. Actually, I'm going to I mention, I, somebody I know here in Edmonton uh, posted on LinkedIn about his golf game with his parents. And it was just like, he lost ground. He, like, I, I re, like, and I thought just me, I don't care. But he didn't help himself when he's talking about that. And it really felt like a Facebook post. So, so I think it's obvious, but why would you say we want to stay away from that stuff, Roberto? Because precisely because of that look. Uh, I, like, I like what you said that somebody posts about golfing with her parents. I love this story. What is the intention? Hey, I'm here looking at your profile. I'm very busy and you're my connection. And if I feel that you're wasting my time, I'm not going to pay attention with anything else you post later on. Ladies and gents, this is reality. This is the way how I say it to my clients. This is the way how it is. You want to be perceived as an expert. You want to be hired as the next great uh, person as a CEO, COO, then showcase that. If you are just showing the picture, but you're not telling me COVID-19 has put in perspective how valuable relationships are. And part of that is quality time with my parents. I invite you all in our professional lives to be more engaged with every single relationship we have, personally and professionally. Boom. I love that. Show me and the that picture makes sure, of the yeah. parents. I want to see makes, it. Yeah, it makes sense now. It inspires me, motivates me. So true. That is an alignment to LinkedIn. But if you only post it by social, LinkedIn is professional first, ladies and gents. Social second. If I you know, bring content that inspires that bring people up to their A game, to the next level, mentally, psychologically, emotionally, personally, physically, then I'm making a purpose. If I find somebody that I'm an strategic advisor for international business relations and a lifestyle individual that believes in this, this and that, A, B, C, and D, then I need to always have in my strategy, what is my purpose to post this? Because it's not about me, believe it or not. It's about the audience in my inner circle and the inner circle of these inner circles that get to know me. I, you know, I was going to ask, are you then saying that you would post uh, a photo, for example, of you and your parents, but you would make it explicit, explicitly known that the intention is for you to share the message about um, building relationships and understanding the value of those relationships. So the message is, is what needs to be intentional. Yes, very, very interesting, Laura. Yes and no. I will tell you why. Yes, if you somehow are related to the demographics that you have intended professionally, for this picture to be out there. I'll give you an example. Your parents, I will assume they are seniors. And if you are directors of a senior's community, boom, right? Or if you work with people that indulge in helping seniors, boom. If you are in somehow related to business relations or to better the relationships or as a coach, as an advisor, to foster better relationships, and it's everything about relationships and you have content before articles or posts and hashtags they've been using related to that, that will go absolutely on it. If it's nothing, if it's something different and for instance, you're in financing and you just post that, but it's not relevant to your, to your audience because most of the people you are connected with are business people and people in finances, then people might be confused by it. So what I try to provide here is a, a wide explanation. You need to, in that case, you need to narrow the focus and say, what is my intention to post this on LinkedIn? Because I can post it on Instagram, I can post it on Facebook. LinkedIn is a different breed. And this is what I want you, I want you gents, ladies and gents to understand. 
if you want to post this more personally, oh, I want, I want Eva to see it. I want Sarah, I want Emily to see it. Send a private message. Hey, by the way, I was thinking of you. Yes, Laura. I, I was going to just say, though, um, so many of us wear many hats mm -hmm. and we have many funnels. We don't just have, for example, a financial funnel or a long-term care center funnel or a, you know, international business funnel. Mm -hmm. So if we were to make that explicit and let it known, let it be known explicitly that we're funneling to that particular target audience, is it still acceptable? I don't do Facebook. I'm an IT, I'm in IT and I understand um, the dangers, even the dangers within LinkedIn. And and so there are many dangers out there, but LinkedIn thus far has maintained its credibility thus far. Um, I'm not certain if other platforms are coming up uh, up through the ranks yet, but that that's all I'm saying is that we have many funnels. So if we explicitly state which funnel we're directing this at, is it still appropriate or um, are we are we confusing our profile um, because oftentimes you know we want to be known as an expert but listen um, it, some of us have our fingers in many many pots mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of reading a lot of research um, we have scientists as friends and 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 uh, you know it's a full-time job doing this mm -hmm. but um, what about credibility in terms of different funnels or should we only be expressing ourselves as a single identity? Because I often think that LinkedIn doesn't provide that means. So on a website, for example, Roberto, you could be an international expert, but you could also be a local expert. You could be a training expert. You could be a medical um, sales professional expert. A very, very good input. I will say it. Um, I will say it as it is, Laura. You need to understand also when you become part of a platform, you become part of a bigger roof. I don't know how many of you know this, but LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft. And so when you're understanding where this comes from, like uh, what is LinkedIn, right? And you got to get the deep understanding how it started and why Microsoft bought it for billions. And that has, that is under the roof of Microsoft. That gives you a little bit more of sense in terms of security to start with. To your question and deep of posting or not, I will suggest for each of you, right now, for instance, what I could do is look at your LinkedIn and make a, a, a and two hours analysis of your LinkedIn and what you've been posting in the last 90 days in the last six months and see how that can be that post that you plan to do to be relevant to your audience and to the post that you've been doing before. So it goes in alignment to that. Like you, we all then are entrepreneurs. You're right, we had to wear different hats. We are experts in different things, which is good. But when I, and look by the way, how many tremendous on did. When, when somebody asked me, what is your specialty? I went like, oh my gosh, because I know so, and, and I'm not saying, no bragging, what is a part is like, oh man, I'm good at LinkedIn, for instance, to help entrepreneurs, this and that, but it's not what I do directly. It's, you know, it's not what I'm bringing myself out there. So I'm good at many other things, resources, training, uh, expert in knowing how to travel international, all that, but with all that comes is relationships. I'm very good at, evolving and creating relationships locally and internationally and to be the bridge, to be the link and to connect the entrepreneurs from North America, for instance, with Europe, Latin America, so on and so forth. Now, I mentioned this because to your point, you need to think before you post, pause for five or 10 minutes and you, you get so emotional. The emotion is good. Don't let the emotions will link them to bring it out there because that can be a mistake. And I don't want to get into political stuff here, but you need to be sure also that you are, your own opinion is influencing your network always with the best intention to build a stronger leaders 
to build a stronger communities, no matter where you are, because your post, even if you're in the States, Canada, Mexico, El Salvador, Colombia, uh, United Kingdom is seen by the world and you never know who you're influencing with. So you need to pause and think, is this post relevant? That's the key word, it's relevant to my audience. In one and one way can help other people. And most importantly, why do I want to post this? And, and the thing is that what I think about is, Laurie, using the word funnel, I'm think, I think of the word hat, what hat are you wearing and what specifically do you want to be known for? And wh you know, what, are you, what are you holding your, what do you, you, what do you want people to identify you with? And so the content should be based on that kind of content and are based on what you want to know. And the, I often say in videos, the, um, the commodity you're asking people to pay in videos is their time. No different with LinkedIn. You're asking for people's time. So if you want them to pay attention to what you're doing, it has to be relevant to them. Now, Roberto, we are at top of the hour and we have about 20, 20 minutes left of your presentation before we wrap it up. So just to give you a heads up on that. Thank you. Carol, Carol did ask a question and that was, um, oh, Carol, do you wanna ask the question yourself? Cause you have a few here. And look, can you please stop sharing your screen? I will start to share my place. Sure. Gracias. Yeah, I wanted to know if um, when we use our name, should we use the word realtor or, or real estate or any title after the name, the Lincoln name? Very good question, Carol. Uh, best way to describe that is that um, Actually, oh, you have, I'm sharing my screen. Sorry. Yeah, you have, you have, you have the screen. So go ahead. We're going to look you up right now, Carol. Give me your last name. Oh please. no, mine is very bad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. They're on that circle of throws here. Davis is. I think I use my middle name, A, eh? because okay. there's lots of Carol Davis. A Carol A Davis. Davis, yes. No, not that one. D A V I S, yeah. V, those are D-A-V-I? S. Yeah, it's correct now. But yeah, yeah. Right. Are you that one? I come I on get a comprehensive benefits I'm plan? not sure why my picture isn't showing up. It's this one, the third one. This one? Fourth one, fourth one, sorry. Real estate. Okay. Real estate. Yes. Okay. I don't know why. Oh. There you go. Look at that there. beautiful picture right there. I like this smile. <laughs> Thanks. So, okay, I will advise with you very quickly a couple of things here to work on you. If everybody's following this background picture, don't tell me no. who you are. No, show, me. To, show me. Show me. I have to change it. Yeah. Okay. So, upload it. That, that's, that's your mission for today. I will follow up with Luke and be sure that oh. you actually, I will look you up tomorrow, 24 hours, and I need you to change that. And if not, I will give you a hard time. I will expose no pressure, you my Carol. LinkedIn. And no I will pressure. Go, Lady <laughs> Carol from Bethesda, Maryland. I told her to change this and that, and I'll put in my network there. I said, "What do you guys think?" Question mark. And I'll put in English I, and Spanish, so I can have people from Latin America also say, "Oh yeah, la señora tiene que cambiar la foto." <laughs> so background picture. I would recommend if you are are you especially uh, are you specialist in real estate for uh, residential or commercial? Residential. Okay, so I want a picture. If you have a personal picture of you uh, giving a handshake to a client that you just sold uh, a house, given the kids or whether you are in the living room with happy smiles and they're a family and they had the kids, that's the picture I want to see there in the background. Okay, well, yeah, I better be good at getting pictures then. <laughs> That's well, okay. So even, we're a <laughs> but, but Carol, even a picture of a house, not even if you yeah. is better. Is better I, I'll than do the picture that. of the house because yeah, I haven't had any handshake that I've taken a picture of. That's okay. I, I, that's, a, uh, that's a good input from Luke. What I want to provide to you is the bigger picture here because the intention here is to provide the bigger picture. And especially in these times, I'm missing that engagement with public, with the people. If I see it in Maryland and me and my wife are looking for a new home, and out of everybody that I can trust on, on, on LinkedIn, I see as a professional, the first thing that I see all the time is real estate agent. Ah, okay, you're in real estate. But what is about you? So I will advise, for instance, um, and Luke perhaps can help me with this. Instead of just 
Carol A. Davis, real estate agent for the stress of that. Okay, perfect. What about uh, uh, dream home, dream home solutions oriented for families that are looking for their dream home or anything like that, right? Dream home um, yeah, solutions lady, just per se, just to give an idea, right? That has families, expert in real estate, just, you know, something that is more engaging. Okay. Yeah, right. and, and just just to follow up with that is um, what's, because in your title, I see real estate agent for distressed properties. I don't know what that means. It puts some negative noise in my head. Illustrator, mm -hmm. designer, negotiator. So um, I don't know what you specialize in. I don't know what makes, what sets you apart. So what Roberta, you know, so if it's, it is those luxury homes or if it's going to be the first home buyers and whatnot, then you're narrowing your, your, your clientele from here to here, because there are people are going to say, no, I don't, I don't want a distressed home. I, I want, I want a big home. Like, so, so help pe guide people to where you want to be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Roberto, I, I got a question. Um, yes. What I find frustrating on LinkedIn is you know, not only the limit when you want to send an invite, um, the limit on the amount of text that you can uh, type out, the characters. Mm -hmm. um, Who is talking? Sorry. One of I'm sorry. Like Nick Mellis. Oh, his, your image is frozen, Nick. So oh, your image is frozen. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, Nick, go I'm ahead. Sorry. Um, you know, it's just frustrating uh, the amount of characters you have to type on LinkedIn. And the other frustration, and I know you can't fix this, I joined a. I want to join a lot of groups on LinkedIn, a lot of marketing groups, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, some of these people who are managing these groups just ignore them. And I'm just stuck. You know, I've even went to their page and politely asked them, hey, do you mind approving me? And then LinkedIn makes it so that you, the only way you can message that person is if you pay for it, uh, the premium account. And, and it's just really frustrating somehow to get more involved with groups on LinkedIn than it is on Facebook to do uh, business groups on Facebook compared to LinkedIn. I have the answer and the solution for you, my friend. Sure. Shift it. And instead of being searching for them, may them want you. I will tell you why. Nick, I can look at your profile. If this is you. Me, uh, Can you confirm this is you, right? Yeah, this is him. Yep. Yep. Okay. So first mistake, and that's why it's something I, I personally in my network and the in my business clients and I advise is because there's so mm, so much spam going on sometimes out there. I mean, not sometimes, sometimes in LinkedIn. I have certain criteria, safety criteria that I have that there are certain people that I don't accept. If you send me this, I will say this respectfully. I would maybe consider to accept you if you were connected with Luke and I reach out to Luke first. I would phone him and I say, Look, do you know this guy, Nick Mellis? Who is this guy? Because it's not a picture there. Say oh, something, okay. something to say, Media Productions, this is not you, man. Like, it's not your picture, my friend. Smiling, okay. like confident. You know, this is you. Like, why this picture here should be here and this one should be here? Okay. That's to start with. Also, you are a CEO of something to say, media production. What do what is something to say? Right? So background picture are very important too and relevant to the expertise you have. Right. So once you start to change this, then people will start to trust you more. I don't admit anyone, and I should go into my network in a bit to show you guys. I don't admit anyone that doesn't have a picture, even though if she or he is a personal friend of mine. Why? Because I walk the talk. If I advise my business people, which they pay me, by the way, to make them look their very best at all right. times. And I say, don't admit anybody that doesn't have a picture, whether it's a she or he that you know them for many years ahead, because that appears in the network. And if somebody in my network finds out and say, hey, man, what is the credibility here? What is the trust here? Because this person, when I allow them into my inner circle, I'm allowing them not just to myself, but to have access to all the network that I have. And so my network is so dear to me, nationally, internationally, that I protect it though. Does make okay. any sense? So, that yeah, so, makes a lot of sense. So what I'm saying is, is that Nick isn't helping himself with his credibility because they don't know 
if he, you know, who is this guy here? And he's just an image. So it's, it's that visceral reaction of going, I don't know if I can trust him. And yeah, and I identify a little bit more here uh, the reason why it's a problem too. Nick, unfortunately, you have mixed your, pers your personal profile with a company profile. It's confusing. Here, it tells oh. me it's Nick Mellis. But when it says about this, we have something to say. That is a red flag. That's a red flag that says this might be a spam that they took the time to make it oh. look good. And so that also put in trust that your credibility as an expert in your field. I no doubt that you are. But people that see this will doubt it because it says we. Who is we? Something to say, but I don't see nothing here. And then I see the picture of a guy and like it's all over the place. Is this a company profile or is a personal profile? It's a personal okay. profile. If you want to do a company profile, you create your first first, your personal branding profile. And out of your personal brand, which is something that I can, I can help you guys another time, you can create your own company profile with your personal one, but it's two different entities. Right. Two different entities. And in doing so also be responsible that if you create, that's why I'm having created a company profile, you have the responsibility to be as active on your company profile or even more than your personal one. Does it make sense? Sure it does. Okay, so you need to change the about ASAP as we talked earlier. Here is also some mistakes here. And that's also something else that, you know, makes sense to what I'm saying as a red flag. These guys are hackers, spammers, create something fast to make it look good enough. And there is some mistake here. They even put attention to what they were reading, I mean, writing and who they really are. It's just to create something just because, even though they have 539 followers, I don't know how much of that is true. Uh, I don't see anything else there. What is the experience here? Just the CEO, what else? What is the school? Is that's why I'm telling you the platform, it guides you. Tell me the languages. Tell me where you study. Tell me about your network. And then you have documentaries, the positions, weddings. Those are skills and endorsement. Out of 549 followers, you only have two one and one. That you have, you need to add more skills to it, and you need to add your network, even public in, on LinkedIn. Hey everybody, I will appreciate it, please, if you can endorse me for every skills that you consider an expert on. Thank you so well, much for your time. I, I just, I have to respectfully disagree a little there because I noticed that a lot of people are asking you to endorse their, their uh, skills when you just connected with them. And I'm connecting with them to network, to hopefully seek more business from them. But I don't know if you're a good manager. I don't know if you're a good salesperson or a good court reporter. Um, but then I'm being, you know, I'm being asked to do this. Um, and it's a little too soon for me to do that. No, so this, is, no. this is something also that I want to I wanna navigate. And thank you. I will bring clarity to this. Let me ask you, Nick, do you have over this 525 people, do you have anyone, let's say, do you have any big thing individuals out of these connections on LinkedIn that knows you personally? Yes or no? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Those are the ones you're going to ask for. For instance, okay. And I, I, I will mention this, Luke, I'll, I'll put it again as an example. Luke has 543 followers, very similar to your number. And I go on and on and on. His, his account is more complete than yours. Okay. Okay. And when I go coaching, he has 22, 16. He has lots of skills here. Boom, 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 boom. Some of them has 11, 10, all that. And I bet to you, and Luke can refer me to this, I don't think that Luke has asked them individually to every one of these people to ask them right. for skills. Yeah, correct. I haven't. I actually haven't asked that. The so kick was when Jerry, the kick was when Jerry endorsed me. That was, I got a lot of traction out of that. Thanks again, Jerry, for that. I, I, I don't doubt it. So my point on this is, Nick, and respectfully, don't, yeah. put, don't put an answer in your mind why you shouldn't do it. Put an answer in your mind why you should do it. Think and act outside the box, my friend. In order and to I, do it, in yeah. order to do it, and again, don't get me wrong, guys, this is my style. I said as it is. You need to improve your level. And in order to do it, you want people to see that. Okay. And when you do it, sure. people will, you don't need to say, hey, I'm incredible on this and that. You have it in the about, and then you ask personally these people, hey, Jim, how's it going, okay. buddy? Look, I'm really looking to improve my LinkedIn because I just got these crazy guys with a Spanish accent telling me that I have to. So can you please uh, give me a, 
give me a like or give me a, 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 an endorsement and a skill. If you can give me a recommendation, even better, man. Do, do the three, okay? It will take only five minutes like this. It will make me look good. I will do the same for you in the near future. What about that? Sure, man. Right? And same thing, hey, Maria, or hey, Scarlett, can you, you know, do this, this for me? Or Laura, Carol, right? And so reach out to your network and say, can you please endorse me this and that? What that will do is create algorithms and then people tend to see that track. But you need to work on the body of your LinkedIn. In other words, you, you need to be complete. In order to be complete, the head needs to be there, right? The dorsal, the arms, the entire body, the legs, because if it's not, there's something missing, man. You cannot walk, my friend, if you don't have all your body complete. And if you do, there is just literally 10 to 10, 10 steps to make your, your account all a star. So from look, I will jump to mine because I'm mindful of the time. I'm mindful of the time too. And again, I will show you mine guys as a point of reference. So my background is all about brands, is about the communication skills and all that. So I put a background thing it's very catchy in my view, right? And also my picture, this is me, okay? And so this is my about, my factor. And by the way, this guy is a constant work in progress, constant work in progress. But this tells you about my brand. It tells you about who I am, my, myself presenting in Colombia uh, to 100 entrepreneurs there or business trips in Colombia, in El Salvador, in Mexico, Toronto, uh, and my trip to, uh, to Germany as well. And one of the benefits that I found on LinkedIn, I will tell you this story. Actually, I was fortunate to uh, be invited as a guest speaker to, in Toronto uh, for 300 women entrepreneurs. Mainly these ladies were from Mexico. And after this presentation, I came back home. And as we were talking earlier, life as an entrepreneur, you always find ways, you know, to figure things out. So there was cash flow coming, but of course you always have expenses. So anyways, long story short, I was looking to attend a seminar about leadership. I want to improve myself. I said to myself, you are just good as the less, last version of yourself. In order to be relevant to your audience and to my clients, in my case, I need to be more knowledgeable and I need to apply this knowledge and execute. With that being said, I was scrolling down on home, on LinkedIn home, and I found uh, something that it says uh, MQ Innovation, First Innovation Mobility Summit and, uh, from Audi. And I was following Audi, it's one of the companies that I follow. And so that was August and the event was the first week of September, I only had three weeks, but you need to apply. You need to apply for the right of them to invite you. And there are three questions that they ask you and they look at your LinkedIn profile. So to my surprise, I went, oh, what a fancy, I will do it. So I did it. And I applied within 24 hours, I received a private email from uh, somebody from Audi headquarters in Ingolstadt in Germany. And they were inviting me to attend the first innovation summit. I was fortunate enough that was the only entrepreneur, the only uh, entrepreneur from North America, from the States in Canada, that was invited to this summit. There were only 400 people, experts, that they call us. They were participated in the summit the first day with the speakers like Steve Gosniak, the co-founder of Google, the founder of Wikipedia, the CEO of Google X. What a wonderful experience, guys. Most importantly, the second day, every Audi engineer was having different webinars about artificial intelligence, about the mobility, about communications. And believe it or not, they have us all to pick our webinars, but they will listen to us because this guy is so smart enough. They collaborate with people from different backgrounds, but they take seriously your, your input. So they're asking me, how's the weather in Canada? How it feels to drive there when it's minus 35? What is this, this and that? And to share with people from Germany, uh, United Kingdom, uh, Switzerland, Austria. My point is now these people are part of my network. And it's a great sensation when these people feel you and can see you, let's say, wow, you come all the way from Canada. You were the, the, the light there because you're the only one outside of Europe. But then have people like VPs. Anyways, I can go on and on and on. So that also helps to your network. Now, uh, I want to jump quickly into, into hashtags. 
uh, for Carol, we, for instance. And we have uh, just a couple more minutes, about five maximum, and then we okay. have to wrap it up. Absolutely. So I will go with hashtags. Um, very important that you have to be mindful as well of what you are representing and what you want. If you are not telling LinkedIn what your interests are, your feed will give you lots of stuff. So you need to be mindful. So as you can see here in my hashtags, if I look, for instance, at hashtag Realtor, it will appear here that it's 49,292 followers. Now, Carol, you need to be part of this hashtag. Okay, and what you will do is, as I did here, it will appear here, Realtor, you click follow. Might be Realtor Marketing. You have 107, forget about it. Just go over five, seven figures above, okay? For instance, for me here, personal branding is one of my hashtags. 10,565,000, I'm following that. And when I, oh, post, okay. when I post, for instance, it serves double purpose. The algorithm, LinkedIn classifies me as a, I'm one of the thought leaders and experts in these topics because of the hashtags that I use. So people then are using this hashtag to receive feeds. They will, use, they will receive my news. They will receive my posts. And when you also put it there, you are telling LinkedIn, this is where my interests are. Besides of the companies and people you're following. But it has to have that match, right? So uh, and I quickly, I will sum it up at this. Look, I'm, I know I'm aware of, of no, what you yeah, said. Good. OK, uh, what is it here? Same thing here, you see international business, international relations. And how this is relevant, you say, you see here on the top, who view your profile? There has been 125 people has seen my profile. In what time? They say 126 people has seen my profile in, nine, in the last 90 days, okay? There's some of you already there, I like that. And then views on my post, which one? The latest one was the one about this webinar. Okay, so this is the one. I had 255 posts, even though the engagement has been just three or two comments. This is all organically, guys. And this was the post I did two days ago. Now, this is the beauty. This was a post that I did a week ago. Look at the content here. It has to have all relevance. Look at here at the hashtags. Again, organically. Mm -hmm. I had 25 engagements, four comments, and this is the number so far in one week. 1,694, 1,694 people have seen it. Where? There's the BDC, the government of Alberta, city of Edmonton, city of Alberta, sorry, University of Alberta, playing Lemar PCL, okay, all that stuff. Executive director, project management, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all good. Where? Calgary, Alberta, Toronto, Vancouver, British Columbia, Montreal, Saskatchewan, Winnipeg. And I can go on and deep, and you will see that there's people even in the States, people in um, UK, and so on and so forth. So why is that relevant? Because it match the hashtags. And when people see here, for instance, um, the thing was leadership they appear here. There are some hashtags that do better than others that you will see that you will see a trend happening. And so you want to look at what leadership content is. You only click on the hashtag and then you will see people that is using the hashtag. And then you might find some relevant content there. So one point, my post is there too. And with that, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I don't know if you have, we still have time for a couple of questions. So look, take it away. Thank okay. you, Roberto. <clears throat> Thank you, Roberto. My pleasure. Uh, Roberto, get you to stop sharing your screen. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm just I just want to talk about uh, very briefly other webinars I have coming up and then what will happen is uh, we'll go back and ask any follow up questions we have I know there's questions in the chat box, but I just want to share a bit of information just for some of you that may not know about this, and then we'll come back to it and if you need to go, we understand that happens. So. I just want to tell you that there's some of the other webinars I have going on and I have webinars five days a week. Um, and. They are all on professional development and um, on Mondays. Now, the thing that's 
different is next week, I'm actually going to be holding them in the evening to see if I'm going to have some uh, better engagement and whatnot, because they're all been at noon. So the times you're going to see are not actually accurate because I'm next week, I'm trying a test to see them in the evening. So <clears throat> defining your avatar, your ideal client is uh, I held that on Mondays. And on that, I really do a, uh, I use case studies to help people understand when they are trying to engage their clients, whether their clients are business to business or business to consumer, what you have to consider when you're looking at uh, identifying who your ideal client is. On Tuesdays, my uh, webinar is on how to have a kick-ass elevator pitch. And I start with the value proposition. And that is really about what do you bring to the table that sets you apart from everyone else? Because you can't have an ele effective elevator pitch if you don't know what sets you, what, what, how you're distinct than anyone else. On uh, Wednesdays, and of course, this time doesn't exist. Uh, it'll be in the evening at, uh, I'm not sure, uh, you have to check link meetup for that. But on Wednesdays, I have uh, part two of how to have a kick-ass elevator pitch and it's navigating the elevator pitch. And I talk about the mechanics and I introduce a very simple, elegant model on how to engage with people and see that differently and, and help people and engage with them differently. On Wednesday, on Thursdays is how to position yourself as an expert and trusted advisor. And uh, it's fairly, it's a fairly new presentation. And it's really about how to distinguish yourself from your competition. And of course, on Fridays, we have, once it works, my screen is frozen. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to show. And on Fridays, we have Widen Your Gaze Fridays. And this is obviously what we've attended today. And it's to give you that bigger picture. So those are presentations I have coming up. And please sign up for them and um, connect with me on LinkedIn. Connect with Roberto on LinkedIn. And Roberto, you're now going to tell us, uh, do you have an offer that you want to express to people? And Absolutely. You, Sorry, okay, go ahead. I'm going to stop sharing. And you can take it over. And we'll bring it into the home, the end, the to the end. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I want to thank you again, Luke, for the wonderful opportunity and for having me as a guest speaker. And I want to thank each of you for making the time to uh, learn something new about LinkedIn and how to position yourselves much better as a leader in your own industry. Uh, now, of course, I have clients that I um, have paid clients, and uh, typically my hour rate is $500 US. So now for um, the opportunity I have here, I have even, even I'll be honest with you, even thought about it. But Luke told me that some of you might be more interested to benefit out of my expertise and to connect with me. So for the very first time, I will offer this at $99 US for the first hour. And on top of that, I will give free one hour, one extra hour at no charge for the first two hours. That is just an offer with the next 24 hours. So if you want to have advantage of this offer, reach out to me, send me a message in private, connect with me on LinkedIn and... Uh, I want to also wrap it up with this. Don't be afraid to try new things. LinkedIn can be very intimidated by, by many people and for many, many people. I, before I became a, a, an expert on LinkedIn, I didn't know anything about the platform. And so I dedicated literally five years to work on the platform, learning by myself, and I still learning about the platform. My point is, put yourself out there, and create ideas, but be very strategic. And if I can help you in any way, one way or another, reach out to me and let's, let's talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and I'm gonna put Roberto's um, email address in, um, um, the, in chat. the chat box. And now we're gonna take the last bit of questions. I know whoever would like to go ahead first and, and uh, just ask your question, that would be great. So I was going to say, uh, Roberto, part of the problem for a lot of people with LinkedIn is Boolean searches. Boolean searches is another meetup, but um, mm -hmm. it's, it's a really great way to find your businesses and to find very specific people on LinkedIn. Okay, Boolean and searches, you say? Boolean, Boolean, B-O-O-L-E-A-N, searches. Okay. Hmm. Thank you so much for sharing that. I appreciate that, Laura. Hmm. Interesting. 
Thank what about you for sharing? Yes. Um, yes, look. Just wondering if other people have questions before we. Uh... Uh, I also want to invite, I want to invite, if I may, is Patrick still around? Uh, yep. He I is, will invite uh... some of you, those ones that are free to, to share some of the benefits of working with me uh, on LinkedIn. But this time I would like to put the spotlight on Patrick to start with. Patrick, my man, if you, <laughs> you want to come up live and share with us some of the benefits you have seen working with me, man, and putting in shaping your platform and really bringing from novice to all the start, please. Hey, yeah, sure. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, and yep, please you know, provide, provide a little bit of your background, my friend. Sure. Uh, so I'm a professional videographer. Uh, I've been doing that for uh, over five years now out here in Edmonton. Um, and I was looking to jump into being more of a full service video production business. And that was around the time I met Luke and then met Roberto and got the opportunity to connect with them. Um, I would just say that Roberto kind of opened my eyes to using LinkedIn to make yourself more legitimate. You know, it's, it's not Facebook, it's a, it's a professional profile. So you, I think that was the big step really was uh, how to properly introduce yourself to people and connect what sort of content you should be posting using the hashtags to filter. So your feed is tailored to your industry or what you want to see. And, um, and really representing yourself properly with whether if you're a content creator or you're a business person, whatever it is, you have to represent yourself accurately. And as uh, you have to really pound out as much um, as you can and, and give an accurate portrayal of yourself. And then as Roberto showed some stuff today, how to tighten your profile up and, and increase visibility and stuff. So definitely if it's something you wanna do and it is something you should do, Roberto is the man to see. Yeah, I definitely support that and the clarity he brings to this and whatnot. You know, it's um, just in general on that. So, um, you know, he will help out and he will let you know when he can't, but he, I highly recommend him on that. Uh, yes, Veronica, you have to unmute. Yeah, hi, Roberto. Thank you hi, for the presentation. Um, you. If you, do you recommend using hashtags in the about section and are they picked up in searches? Don't. Yeah, I, I did um, that earlier before. Uh, it does help in the search, but instead, it doesn't provide a solid, it doesn't help you to have a solid presence. So the, the, the right answer would be, I don't. Uh, I would say don't. Use the hashtag in your post. Post as many times as possible. That's something else too, by the way. There is people that say, I said, are you on LinkedIn? They say, yes, I want to look them up. And again, these are professional people. I go, okay, you haven't been active in the last month or so. There's people that only go once a month. I go there every day. If the, 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 the numbers of times that I go there to LinkedIn is three times a day. If I have breakfast, lunch, and, and supper, I go to LinkedIn those three times as well. But that's because it's relevant to me. Now, uh, I answer that way because if you want to post, you want to do a post a day, you can use hashtags. That will create even more traffic and with more algorithms to your, to your profile than you haven't just sent the about. So don't just send about the about. Take your time. Take hours if you need to, to put a solid about that is engaging, that is appealing, that is attractive. And when you post relevant content, use relevant hashtags too. That answered your question, Veronica? Yes, thank you. Absolutely, thank you. Okay, we are uh, 90 minutes into the presentation. Roberto and I will uh, stay on a bit longer, but um, I'm gonna say this is officially the close to the uh, presentation. And um, I also wanna say uh, thank you, Nick, for uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. I appreciate that. And um, yeah. So thanks, man. And uh, so we will stay and answer some more questions. And if not, then we consider this to be done. Thank you so much, Roberto, for taking the time out to present and to be here and uh, to show me my ill-gotten ways on LinkedIn. <laughs> Why we didn't have this conversation a while ago, I don't know. But I know, man. Anyway, what can I say? We have so much to talk to talk about other stuff, other projects we're working on. I, I promise. I thought that we work. That's the funny part. I thought that you and I work on it, and I yeah. just realized that I work more with Patrick on the right than I with you. But hey, it's a matter of time. Patrick and I look a lot alike. Nah, like it's, it's hard. Do. It's easy. It's you easy to confuse do. us. I know. 
Yeah, right. He's he's damn good looking. So I get your confusion. <laughs> I can I cannot uh, confirm or deny that, man. That's your opinion, and I respect that. <laughs> okay. No, no, of course yeah. not. Absolutely. And, and the other thing is, uh, Patrick actually undersold himself. He actually works. He's a videographer. He works right in uh, for the uh, the Edmonton Oilers and NHL team, mm -hmm. and also the Edmonton Eskimos. He's a he does video shots then uh, like he's actually working during the shot uh, during the sh during the games and uh, he shot Harlan Gold Trotters. And so, yeah, we're working on having him uh, be a bit more expressive about what he brings to the table. So mm -hmm. anyway, I would like to thank everyone for being here today. And um, and Jerry, I responded to your email about uh, getting that wrong. And uh, thanks for pointing that out. So. On that note, uh, whatever questions you have, we will stay and answer them and take care. Thanks a lot, Laura. Thank you everyone for joining us. Thank Thanks, you. Guys. Thank you, Luke. Yeah. And I'll stick a little longer if you have any questions. There are some of my friends that have some yeah. questions about LinkedIn before, so feel free to ask. You yeah. can ask me in private too later if you want. Roberto, I had a question about uh, your thoughts on using SSI to manage your uh, profile. Absolutely, sir. What are specific questions you have? Is it a good metric to use outside of sales? Um, it can be. Uh, can I, I will take a look at your profile if I may, Jerry. Sure. I seem to be stuck on 63 and I, I don't know if that's the highest you can get if you're not a sales expert or. Um, perhaps uh, for the everyone else like me who doesn't know what that acronym means. Um, uh, Sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. Jerry, do you want to? I think it stands for uh, social sales social index or something like that. Social social sales index. Okay. It's primarily a, a tool that I think drives the LinkedIn algorithm so that when somebody does a search, for instance, you see second degree, third degree mixed in. Yeah. And I think it's all based on how active you are and how many connections you have and how relevant those connections are. And this kind of gives a snapshot of how you're doing, I think. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm looking at it right. I will share the screen here. This is you, sir. Yeah. I do have a post on this also that so far nobody's replied to. Okay, so guide me through that. We're going to see this. So this you see the screen right now, right? Yes. Okay. Very. By the way, very nice, very nice profile. I like the picture there. Your picture is very confident. I like the background in your picture here. Honestly, it's very, very nice, very professional done in my view. Uh, the flag, of course, very patriotic. Uh, Streamer solving complex problems with simple solutions. Okay. So you see. Hmm. Okay, your activity, you have very good number of followers as well. Let's see all your activity. When it comes to paid pay services, it's all, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I don't go for paid services all the time because I love to create content and it's organic, but this is, this is me. It all I'm depends. A, mm -hmm. I'm a military veteran. So they give it away free for the first year. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So then use it. Absolutely. Okay. So this is, this is your post that you're talking about, right? No, there's one actually should be a little bit lower that, uh, I don't see any engagement. This one, this happened one day ago. Is yeah, this there, one? Are quite, there are quite a few that don't get engagement that I'm trying to work on that, but Okay. There's one specifically down there about SSI. Okay. Okay. You let me know when I found it, okay? There it is. This one? Yeah. This one here. Um, okay, no likes. So this is your concern. You haven't had any engagements, right? Yeah, I think this is somebody's post on top of mine, but uh, you, you... yeah, but I'll, I'll tell you a couple of things here. And, and, and personally, myself, 
I know deeply familiar with SSI. I heard about it before. Um, okay. When it comes to post, and this is what I want you to walk with me, Jerry. I'm good at what I what I know and what I do. So when it comes to the post, you I see it's here that you like this, right? Phrases S, okay, comment on this. This is what you like. And the post hasn't been reposted by you for what I see here and doesn't have any content whatsoever. The mistake that most people do is that they like something or they just post it on, but they don't tell me why they post it. So yeah, sure. you need to, to create a little bit of highlight, like for instance, SSA is very beneficial for all us as veterans because of this and that. Hashtag, 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 right? That's you. Yeah. Just yeah. you as a leader, put it out there, whether it's me, whether it's Luke or whoever created the content, you are just sharing that, but you are saying to the audience, to me, why you are sharing that. So when this post is just like it, and maybe it's good content, but you're not telling me that that is relevant to you and why it should be relevant to me, it's not engagement. Yeah, this is just, she commented on my post and I just liked her comment is all. If you scroll further down, we should be able to come to my original post. Okay, 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 gotcha. So I try to acknowledge when people do make a comment. Of course, and that's wonderful. Actually, nope. That was your post. So. Thank you for that, by the way. I just go with what I see first. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even realize I had so many. <laughs> I lose that post right now. So here is the post, but I don't see anything that says you. Yeah, this is, uh, it's still further down. Okay. No worries, no worries, no worries. Take the time that we need. To. I didn't mean to take up this much of your time. Oh, no, 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 but you know what? Don't worry about it. And this happens. Even when I go back to the post and I want to look myself, I go, where is that post? And then I realize, oh my gosh, because I'm so engaging all the time or posting content from other people to my network, but with that purpose, right? I had to scroll down. So this is normal. Don't worry about it. But you're the one that's going to guide me. Okay. I don't see the post. Did I jump in? No. Further down. Let's see. Where is it? There's not this one here, right? Actually, if you go to the link that I put in the chat, um, Jerry, you will find your um score right away yeah i can see my score right um but my question is no matter what i do it doesn't seem to improve much and oh. this post is asking other people do you find it useful to use this tool to help improve your linkedin score personally well just the tips that i mentioned to you earlier and by the way i didn't have the chance to 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 show that today, but I will share to those of you that are here. Uh, organically, you can improve your LinkedIn. You, you don't need another platform. I'm a witness of that. I share this with Luke too. And I will find, I want to find your, your post because I really want to get an party in the background is playing games. <laughs> if you don't amuse yourself, please tell us what kind of game is it so we can join too. Sorry about that. No worries. I saw a sales navigator up there. I don't know if that was it or not. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's there it is. Go down just a little bit. It's just not filling in the page properly. This one here? I believe so. Does anyone understand the LinkedIn SSI social selling index? What can what can make it cut down? Is it something just for sales or should be? Okay. And then if you click on that, I think it shows a picture of it. Sales oh. page not found. Interesting. Mm. That's, that's when maybe why one of the reasons. Uh, that's interesting. I don't know why it shows that. Where the Where is the link? Where was the link taken from? that you posted there? Um, 
I actually have it in my bookmarks, but Carol said she put it, it in. It's it. I put it in the. So it's the very first link under where do you find it, and it's got SSI at the end of it. So if Jerry clicks on it, he'll see his own. If I click on it, I'll see my own because you've got a get your free get your score free button in yeah. that link. So if, if you were to do it, Roberto, using mm -hmm. that link, we would be able to see yours. Let me see. I want to go back. I will stop sharing for the time being. So we can go back to the video and see. Go to the chat. chat. Okay, that's the link. Interesting. Okay. The SSI link. Okay. So success. Let me get your score free. Let's see. What's your score? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Not bad, actually. <laughs> Thank you, Laura, for sharing. I will share the screen with you guys. We're learning here. That's, I love that. Fancy Landia. Okay. Leave me one second. I will share again. Uh, what is it? Where is, here it is, right? So I want to be sure that I click on it. Carol, if I didn't say it, how, how, I'm cut off curiosity. How you guys found this, this link? Who provides you this link? How you guys find out of the information about this? We'd like to share their screen. Yeah, we'll share right now. All right. Well, who wants to do it? So, Jerry, do you want to do it, or or do you want to do it? Oh, I will share my screen right now, guys, because Laura, I want to see my my my. I want to see Roberto. Yeah, a social proof. Okay, no okay, worries. So Roberto, how I found it is that um, I know a lot about uh, strings, search strings. So all I did was go SSI LinkedIn, and it immediately came up with this. Very good. Well, you're an IT professional, I can tell. <laughs> but I, what's I your can... score? Click on get your free score. <laughs> uh, I uh, Here we go. I had it already. I don't know why it sent me out of it. There we go. Okay, I've got a 63 also. There we go. Hmm. I have 78. Good oh, for wow. you. Okay, I need to get familiar myself more with it. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. For me, it has worked more organically. Uh, when I improve my LinkedIn, for instance, LinkedIn sent me an invitation to become an advisor, a career advisor with the platform. And that's actually on my LinkedIn. And uh, LinkedIn has sent me uh, questions from people looking for better jobs or people as entrepreneurs or business people from the States and here in Canada. Um, three, three profiles every week. And I pick whatever profile I want to. And if the question match for me to give an answer, I do. And I mentioned this because that is part of the organic growth, right? So with the statistics, sometimes can be tricky because it goes back again to the demographics, goes back again to the engagement. Um, and what I see, as I mentioned to you earlier, is I look at my, at my profile and the engagement that I have already from my network. What I forgot to mention earlier is that, the, for instance, the, the post that I mentioned, that I showed you earlier, with uh, almost 2,000 people in, in one week, is because I tag the people that are in the picture and I wanna tag them maybe relevant information too. When I tag people, the more the merrier, if it's relevant, as good. For instance, for instance right now, just as an, as an idea, we might have a video after this that Luke will provide for us. And if you're already a connection of Luke, what Luke can do is that Luke will say something like, what a wonderful uh, webinar or what a wonderful experience we had last Friday at our event, blah, 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 post the video. But on the, on the explanation on the columns, he will start to tag myself, Jerry, Laura, Alberto, Dorian, and everybody that was here already, that is already a connection I have on LinkedIn. And what that will do is like a you throwing a rock into a lake. Have you seen the waves expanding? 
So the first wave is you throw that rock, you throw that post. If you include a person there, that's the first wave. Okay? So everybody that we will be, again, in this idea, right, that will be posted, that, sorry, that will be tagged on this post, my network will receive a notification. That's the second wave from my first wave. Then their network, if for somebody on my network, for instance, even if it's not connected to any of you, will give like to it, that will go to your network, right? So in other words, to understand this is like a waves. So one content that you create, it might span to the first wave, which is the inner circle that you have, okay? And from this wave, it spans to the second one, and then the third one, the fourth and fifth. That way, more people can see it. Uh, Roberto, can I ask, that is a, um, that is an on and off feature of LinkedIn. So you can either turn off your notifications to other people, or you can turn off the notifications, I believe, from other people. If those notifications are not o opened up, uh, that won't happen. My question, though, is tag people. Are you saying at, so inside of a LinkedIn post, they have the at post. And when you select that, you can select people that you can put in inside of your post. Am I assuming that is the way of tagging people? What is the procedure to tag people? I'm glad you asked. Actually, Luke and I, we went through this yesterday. I will show you right now how to do it properly. And just to what you say, Laura, you're writing in the notifications. Yes. Uh, however, because LinkedIn needs you to be active with the platform, and if you exist in the platform, uh, they will still send you push notifications even though you have this activated. If you go to the, to the homepage, you will still see content there. So what I mean by that is that you might not receive it as a notification, but you will see it as a push notifications and might not using the, the correct term. But when you go to the, to the homepage, you also often will see posts from people that aren't even in your network. And so there is when the, in the, in the homepage is where these notifications actually appear. No as a notification directly to you, but on the homepage. Sometimes you will see posts from friends or, you know, other people in your network that have posted something. But when you actually tag, which I'm going to show you right now, then is when you receive notifications, you've been tagged. And then the people in my network, whether they say notifications on and off, they might have likely the opportunity to see the post on the homepage. Okay, I, I don't have... Um, I have over 1,500 people who I reached out to and those who are following me and I'm following them and yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. I don't get that on my homepage. Okay. Well, we will look at your homepage then a little bit, if I may. And also, mindful of the time, I have to leave in 10 minutes. Okay, but, show, uh, show us the tag. Yeah, I, I, will show you, I will show you the tag right now. Yeah. So. For instance, putting something here, great presentation today. Uh, okay, with, sorry, with a hashtag. You have when when you want to touch. Right. Yes, somebody, I know. I I know those at, yeah, and that's but what I, I would say. I I I'm explaining this because there is people that don't. Okay. So allow, allow me to 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 finish sure. it. Okay. We'll go Bouchard. Sometimes the list identifies as the first name. So mm -hmm. in order for you to tag, you need to click on the person's right. name, right? Those people don't know this. And then I can go also Alberto Barbosa per se. There you go. And then I have you, you Laura, right? The, Is there a way of doing it as a, a, a list, a list? like creating the list before you go through and do oh so you have uh, always so you always have the same people you tag not having to write it out right exactly mm, yes. no 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 because because it's uh, an algorithm so because okay. what it happens if you create just the ad it will appear arrow at at the name right you need to actually engage with the platform so that's why when you actually type in the name it tells you is this the person you want in a way it shows you a list 
you click on it, you go yes. If you post, then these people will receive notification. Roberto Alas has tagged you on the post. And then people can see what the post is about. But no, it's not a way that you can create it. Uh, you have to create pretty much the, the post organically. And uh, unless in my awareness, I know it's not a way that you can pre-tag people. You're literally, can, you can have actually a pre-designed post or, you know, create the post previously, copy and paste. But when it comes to time to tag people, you need to do this process. I, do, right. have, I do have some large groups and I put it in... Uh, Notepad, then I can just copy it out of Notepad and put it into LinkedIn. Yes. Really, that works? Yes. Mm. That was okay. for you, Jerry? Right. And people get tagged on it? Yes. Well, <laughs> maybe that's why I'm not getting responses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to go. Yeah, I want to finish with you, Jerry. Where is it that? Yeah, so the, the post and I saw. Thank you, by the way, Laura, for sharing this. This is very, very interesting. I really appreciate that. To get myself a little money. So when you <laughs> post, very I learned about this in a LinkedIn seminar. <laughs> uh, here, Jerry. What I found here is that again the uh, the link the link here, as you can see, it displays the page not found. Yeah, I'm thinking oh. that maybe that's because uh, it's my personal score. Okay. So if it's a way that we can, for instance, put the link there. Hi, Laura. Thank you. Oh, I was just going to say, oh, even, even if it's, Jerry, even if it's your personal, you will have a snippet tool. Just go and snip your, your score and put it in as an image. And then the link is never lost. The picture is never lost. The image of your score is always there. It won't be dynamic, it will be static. Yeah, and that's a good input, but uh, I would not have tried to post mine here. So I think somehow, because I said SSI, it just tried to put my link in there or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. What was the intention to post this, Yuri? Um, what, literally the, what I can read, of course. The webinar that I went to, they were talking about uh, this metric and then I started using it, but it didn't seem like, uh, you know, adding 200 people, for instance, didn't change my people score. Adding more posts didn't really change my uh, other score. So I was wondering if it's just a sales tool or if it really truly could be a metric for how well I'm doing on my uh, LinkedIn score. To be honest uh, with you, um, I think that, again, that's all relative to what you really bring out there in terms of content. For instance, myself, I believe in matrix, but when it comes to, to social media, again, it's all, it's all relevant, right? Uh, for instance, I received this from LinkedIn just, uh, just yesterday, actually, which is very, very interesting. I will just share with you guys here on the email that was directly from LinkedIn asking me to keep posting more because they perceive me as a... Uh, thoughtful leader and all this and all that. So, okay, it's encouraging and everything, but that is just organically. And I answer right. this way because to your answer, Jerry, if you really want to have more people to engage with your content, to who you are, regardless of what you, your expertise is, I will suggest that be out there. Like you have a premium, premium, um, LinkedIn, which is very good. You, you pay for it or it's, it's free, if you don't mind me asking? It's free. It's free for you. Perfect. So use it. And the way to use it is that engage more now uh, with veterans at first, per se, if that's something that you, know, you feel comfortable doing it. Because this is part of who you are. You serve the country and you, know, you are a proud citizen. And also in being a proud citizen, you have so much of that uh, common sentiment to connect with people. So start with that, right? Having a genuine connection. And from there, bring the uh, part of resolving complex problems, right? One simple solutions part of it. In other words, when it comes to matrix, you said as it is, it's a tool, but sometimes, many times a matrix or a tool doesn't define who you really are, as the people in your inner circle that defines that. 
And the way to do that is to create content that will engage more people. I was the I thrive on uh, resolving computer or complex problems came from Luke, by the way. Wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. That's what I was saying. Oh, he oh, just made wonderful. my day. He just made my day. <laughs> thank that you. Your, your help on my elevator speech, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we should. Uh, very resourceful. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy to hear that. Yeah. So why don't we, uh, on that note, unless there's something really burning, we'll uh, bring this to a close because uh, I have another call I have to get on and I think we all have other stuff. Thank you very much, Roberto, for uh, taking the time out of your very busy schedule to bring your expertise and the rest of you that have joined. And I look forward to you in other uh, future presentations. Okay, take care. Thank you both. And Laura, it was good. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. And Roberto, just hang on for a second, okay? Okay, sounds good, my man. Thank you. See you, Laura. Hey. Hey. So, how do you think it went? It went very good. Uh, they have um, more in deep questions. I like it. There's things, of course, that I didn't have. Uh, the last one, for instance, I was okay. I 